Concerned about COVID-19 while studying? Here's some information to help you through. A is for ADA. We're working hard to support our students and prepare for New Zealand's post-COVID future. B is for be mindful of vulnerable members of the community. Help where you can, but keep a two metre distance at all times. Or B is for bubble. Stay in your bubble and only have physical contact with those in your household. C is for COVID-19. Symptoms include cough, fever, fatigue and shortness of breath. If you have these symptoms, isolate yourself from others and seek medical advice. D is for device. Make sure you have yours set up to continue your learning online with us. E is for employment. The government's economic support package is designed to prevent high unemployment. F is for face masks. Wear one if you have symptoms and seek medical advice. G is for global spread. Most countries and regions have cases of COVID-19, including New Zealand. H is for hand washing. Wash your hands often and thoroughly with soap and hot water. 20 seconds is recommended. I is for influenza. It's still important to get your winter flu vaccination, especially if you are pregnant, elderly or high risk. Other students can get a free winter flu vaccination once the lockdown ends. J is for judgment. Doctors and nurses assess individuals with COVID-19 symptoms and use their judgment to decide if a test is required. K is for keeping up to date. Follow trusted news sources so you know what's happening and what you need to do. And the ADA website will have regular updates too. L is for laboratory testing. Testing is gaining pace with greater numbers of people being tested every day. M is for Ministry of Health. For credible, up-to-date information on all aspects of COVID-19, visit www.moh.govt.nz. N is for no need to panic buy. All essential supplies will remain available during the lockdown. O is for overwhelming. Avoid sensationalist media coverage and make time for other activities so you don't become overwhelmed. P is for personal protective equipment. To limit transmission, healthcare workers and those who are infected must wear masks, gloves, gowns and eye protection. Q is for quarantine. Quarantine keeps infected people separated from others so they don't pass on the infection. R is for register. If you are required to self-isolate, you need to register at www.healthy.org.nz slash register. S is for stay home, save lives. All of New Zealand is in lockdown until further notice, so we can stop the spread of COVID-19. T is for travel restrictions. New Zealand's borders are closed. Domestic travel is only for essential service people, and we all need to stay local. U is for uncertainty. Uncertainty and anxiety are normal feelings. It helps to keep in touch with friends and family and stick to your normal routine as much as possible. V is for vaccine. Scientists around the world are working hard to find a vaccine for COVID-19, but it could take at least a year. W is for wellbeing. If you're struggling and need support, there are many free counselling services available. And reach out to your other tutors and classmates for support with your classes. X is for extra kindness. Kindness, compassion, love and community spirit will get us through this challenging time. Z is for Zs. Sleep really is the best medicine. Keep your regular sleep routine, rest when you need to, and read or have a bath to unwind before bed. Stay home, take care, and we will all get through this together.